Hopefully you're having a great weekend. And happy Father's Day to any of the people out there that is a father. And make sure that you subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I am going to cook av this is how to make avocado spaghetti. I know there are a lot of people that's making avocado, but this is a little bit different uh, than most people that what they put together. Now, avocado has a lot of fiber, and so does the pasta that I picked up. The fiber you want to get because, especially if you're trying to lose weight, you want to keep fiber. Fiber keeps you eliminating, which is a good thing. So. <clears throat> The ingredients that you're going to need for this particular recipe is, of course, an avocado. Now, this is the way the avocado should look. The way it should feel should be kind of soft, kind of hard. Okay, not too hard, not too soft. And if it's really, really soft, really, really, really soft, use this bag. And especially if you open it up and it's got black stuff all in it, or brown, real brown all the way through, don't eat it at all. Okay, now this pasta, I picked it up at O'Hara, I mean El Rancho, <laughs> it's a Mexican store, and what you want to look for, if you're trying to lose weight, you want to look for the durum flour, semolina, semolina, and durum flour, that means that's wheat flour. Anything else is not the real pasta, okay? I always you look for the durum flour because I'm trying to keep fiber in my diet. Um, like I said, avocado has fiber, and that's the reason why I put these things together. Now, another thing you're gonna need for this particular recipe is ripe olives, California style. And these are the whole ones. They have some that's sliced up, but I wanted to slice it up myself. Plus, you might want to do it whole. If you want to put them whole, you can have them whole. Either way you want to do it. Now, I'm only going to use like five of these. Now, that's the way it looks whole. Now, I'm going to show you what you can do. I'm going to go ahead and put ten. But I'm going to show you what you can do with these. You probably already know this. But, um. Oh, you're going to need a knife. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and finish and tell you what all you're going to need. You're going to need the black olives. You're going to need a spoon. You're going to need a fork. I told you about the avocado. You're going to need some pasta sauce. You don't have to use the old whole jar unless you're going to make a big batch of this. And, of course, you can put it in the freezer and put the foil over. You're going to need a bowl. I've already cooked this for five minutes. You just want to warm this for five minutes and put it in a bowl. And uh, the cheese you can add if you want to. It's up to if you want to use cheese. Now, um, and when you use that cheese... Uh, you want to mix it in with the pasta sauce and the avocado, but I'm going to show you uh, about the pasta. Now the pasta I've already cooked, but you want to get a pot about like this. And when you use this pot, you want to put the water in. When you put the water in, you want to boil the water for 9 to 11 minutes. Oh no, you want to, yeah, no. You want to boil the water. And then put the salt if you want to. It's up to you if you want to put salt in. And then after that, you want to put the pasta in and let it cook for 9 to 11 minutes. Now, after you cook it for 9 to 11 minutes, the very important thing you want to do is pour that water off because it has starch that comes up. Now, when that white stuff you see on the top come up, you want to pour that off. And then you want to rinse that pasta. And your pasta should look just like this. And you want to cook it until it's soft, okay? Or to your, however you like your pasta. But I like mine kind of soft. 
<coughs> not too soft. Now, if you go beyond 11 minutes, you're going to have real, real, real soft pasta. And you don't want that. Okay. Now. Um, now, the avocado. Back to the avocado. We're going to cut it. And I already put the pasta sauce in here. You're going to take this knife and you're going to make an insert. All You want to cut all the way around. Now there's a seed inside. And you do not want to eat that seed at all. Now as you can see, I'm cutting all the way around. And you're going to see some green come out. That's, that's a good thing. But we want to look at it. See how clean that is? That means it is ripe and it's, it, it should be soft enough for you to dig out. Okay, that's the seed I was talking about. Now, the way to get the seed out is just kind of go around a little bit with the knife. Kind of dig under there. And make sure you have a bowl so it can fall into if it falls some of the um, avocado falls and you just kind of want to dig up under there to get the seed out okay you just want to make a trace around and then take the knife or the fork and just kind of spoon it out now you have to go really slow because you don't want it to fall out you want it to just come out all right got the seed out now that we got the seed out we want to take the spoon and we want to and i'm just using this bowl as like a trash that's where i'm going to put the um the hole when i finish and when you go in there you want to take the spoon and go around the edge and you basically just want to spoon this avocado out of the shell and as you see it's separating and you want to go all the way around and it should scoop out just like that and you want to put it right into the pasta sauce <clears throat> and then you want to do this again just hold it like this into your hand and just kind of scoop it out just like that it should come out nicely if it's not if it's ripe okay now if it had black spots all in it guess what it's bad you don't want to eat that you don't want to eat it if it's bad okay i'm gonna keep this spoon out but first i'm gonna smash it now i'm gonna show you how to smash it just go straight into it and smash just like that just smash into it use the back of the fork to smash it's going to be a little messy but that's okay if you like it chunky you can stop at this point you know if you just want it you can have it like that or you can just keep going and smash it all in but it, I like mine all the way smashed so I just keep on smashing you can also put this in a blender. Now, if you want more than this, you would add another avocado. You would do the same thing with another avocado. Now, why, now, now that you got all the avocado in there, all smashed up, at this point is where you can decide whether you want to put cheese or not. Okay? You can put cottage cheese or you can put um, soy cheese. Just you want it all smashed up in here if you want. Together. Okay. Now the olives, what we're gonna do with them. Now I'm gonna stir stir this together. I forgot. Stir it all up together. Just like that. And next. It's up to you. If you want the olives to be whole on the top, 
you can leave them whole, but I like mine to be sliced up. So I'm going to slice it up. Just like that. And don't worry if the avocado is on it. Don't worry. It's just, you're going to eat this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But you do want to cut across and make little bitty slices of olives. If you like them sliced, you just slice them. Okay, I've sliced it, all of them. Now what I'm going to do is bring the pasta over. And move this out of the way. Now when you're warming the pasta sauce, you want to uh, make sure that you um, warm it for five minutes. You just want to get it warm. Okay, what we're gonna do is take the pasta, the pasta sauce and the um, avocado and pour it over the pasta. Just like that. And this is a lot, but it's mostly avocado that's making it thick. And once you get all of this over, you're going to see little green, a little green all over. That is the avocado. And that's what we want to focus on is we want to have more avocado than we do the sauce. Okay, now what you do is you take these and just place them all over. And I like to space it out a little bit, but you can just take all of these and just pour them on here like this if you want. But I like to space them out. It looks prettier, I think. But it's up to you. And you can put less of these if you want. Also, you can use green olives instead of the black olives. But that's the way it should look when you finish. And you want to have one fork. And the best uh, way to eat this is to go ahead and just kind of stir it around in, into the um, pasta. You want to mix it with the pasta. Okay, so that's what it like, looks like and hopefully you guys have a great weekend and happy Father's Day to you. I know it's not Father's Day today, but tomorrow on Sunday is Father's Day. So spend a little time with your father. Um, I am going to spend time with my father fathers <laughs> but anyway um so have a good father's day weekend and uh, oh i forgot now what to drink with this is probably what you're thinking well i'm gonna have a sun kiss orange you know the sun kiss part um orange pop that's what i'm gonna have with this the little small leader but anyway i'm only gonna drink half of that with a, with some ice and that's what I'm going to have with this avocado pasta. Now, you guys have a good weekend. Like I said, don't forget your fathers. Bye.